Hey, Discovery Church family. I wanted to take a minute today and uh, just begin to um, share a couple things with you. Um, the first one is that as many of us heard um, recently, we are now moving back to stage three in Ada County. And that means that our gatherings are limited to 50 people or less. This was part of the reason that as a team, we wanted to move slowly into regathering in case these kinds of things happened. And so we have been processing and listening to God and, and praying together and discerning what it's going to look like as we continue to move forward. What we felt really impressed about for the last several weeks was that we wanted to create some casual opportunities, um, but intentional opportunities to begin to gather again. So. We had a great time um, on Father's Day with the food trucks this, um, uh, this last weekend. That was fantastic. Beginning to spend some time together. This Sunday, June 28th, we will still have service at 1030 online. And we will also, as we finish that up, have a gathering at Kristen Armstrong Municipal Park. Picnic, it's bring your own picnic, blankets, chairs, all those things, and let's begin to be together. Obviously, without being able to have formally 50 people together or more, we'd like to scatter throughout that park a little bit and uh, make sure that we are being part of the solution and not the problem. So we wanna encourage distance and all those kinds of things, but we want to create space to be together because it's important for us to begin to be together more consistently. Um, the following weekend is the 4th of July weekend. So July 5th, we will have no services online or anywhere else, but we are looking to host multiple barbecues throughout the valley, again, where we can create space for us to be together, to begin to uh, pray together and spend time together. We have a few of them scheduled already, but we need a few more. So if you're willing to host one of those barbecues at your house, your yard, your front yard, um, your uh, park nearby, please let us know. Reach out to Melissa and let her know that you're willing to, to do those. We're helping out with food costs for those and, uh, and we wanna be part of that. So the other thing is I wanna invite you into this space of prayer. As we discern what it looks like to regather um, in the middle of July, which is what we've been looking toward this whole time, one of the things that God has put on my heart was he, he specifically said, prepare the soil. And so these last several weeks, we've been inviting um, our staff, our pastors, and just some key leaders and intercessors to be here physically in the building with us on Sunday mornings, praying and be, being part of that worship. And that was a real significant thing that the Lord brought me to, um, I believe, just to start preparing us for what it is He was gonna be doing. And the other thing that He directed me to was um, Joshua 5. I'd encourage you to take a moment throughout the next week to read Joshua 5. It was this place where um, the Israelites had crossed over the Jordan and rumors about them had spread throughout the land. And there were some very specific things that God began to instruct them to do to prepare them for what was to come. There's some heart work that God is doing in each of us. He's doing it in me for sure. Um, there is some work in us learning to be together and to celebrate Jesus and to see what it is that he desires for us to do and to be in this community, in this season. And so as we look toward July and as we look toward regathering, we're looking toward smaller kinds of gatherings that we can have where we can be together as the church, where we can be strengthening and encouraging one another and be loving our neighbors well. So there's gonna be more of that that we'll unpack over the next few weeks, but I wanna invite you into a place of prayer. I wanna challenge you to continue to be putting into practice the things that we have been learning, the rhythms that we've been talking about for several months now. Um, I'd encourage you to be fasting and praying if that's a part of your weekly rhythm for our staff, for our leaders, and for the decisions that we're making. And I'd also encourage you as best as you are able, if you are comfortable, um, to come out and be with us in the gatherings that we are scheduling. This Sunday, uh, June 28th, Kristen Armstrong Municipal Park after our online service, 1230. Come with your camp chairs, your own picnic, all those things. And I'd encourage you to open up your front yard or a park the following week over that 4th of July period of time to begin gathering together. Um, so I look forward to seeing you there. I wanna encourage you and bless you and just speak blessing over your family. And uh, I wanna just thank you so much for all that God is doing and stirring in your life, in mine, that we continue to lean into him together. So we'll see you soon. Thanks.